A memorial has been held for five members of the United Nations mission in the Republic of South Sudan's Indian Battalion. The UN peacekeepers died along with seven others in an ambush in Jalila State on Tuesday. India currently contributes the largest number of troops to UN peacekeeping missions worldwide. Speaking at a ceremony, India's ambassador to South Sudan described it as a senseless attack. Clementine Logan has more. A somber scene at the UN compound in South Sudan as mourners gather to pay tribute to five Indian peacekeepers killed in an ambush. Speakers paid homage to the courage of the men described as fighting until their last breath to protect their colleagues. On Tuesday, heavily armed assailants attacked an unmissed convoy traveling along the road in the rest of Jongle State. The ambush left 12 dead and nine injured, six of whom were evacuated to Uganda for medical treatment. These brave men and gallant men who lie before us today have dedicated their lives to the service of peace and stability in this troubled part of the world. But as we see it now, they have made the ultimate sacrifice. Instead of celebrating their achievements, we rather gather here to mourn their demise. It is a great loss of countrymen, a loss of husbands, a loss of fathers, brothers and friends, and indeed to some of us, a loss of our beloved sons. The deadly attack both underscored the need to urgently improve security in the fledgling nation and seemingly strengthened the UN's resolve to fulfill its mandate. This mandate and this mission does not end with such an attack. This horrendous act, which we hope is an isolated incident, will not stop us from carrying out our work. We will carry on and persist in our collective resolve to work with and for the people of South Sudan in building their new country. We will not be deterred. South Sudan's Deputy Minister for International Cooperation described the ambush as callous, savage and senseless. He was quick to reaffirm his country's commitment to working alongside UNMIS, which has been more vocal in recent weeks about the need for increased civilian protection in Jongle State. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon referred to the killing of peacekeepers as a war crime that falls under the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court and called for the government of South Sudan to bring the perpetrators to justice. Clementine Logan, CCTV.